As someone who has visions, how do you handle it? I handle it with all fingers and a pinky toe. No, I mean how do you deal with it? One card at a time. Okay, I've been having weird sexual hallucinations for like the last four years. And the people that I think are horrible individuals aren't really that bad. Like, like who is the name? Well, the pizza dude for one. Ever since I got out of the asylum, he's been nothing but nice. He sends me candies, flowers, and hasn't so much as made a single advance towards me. So, problem is where? Not icy with free chocolate for your mouth. Well, the problem is I still have hallucinations of him doing twisted things to me. But I know in reality, he hasn't done anything. I say, have fun with brain teasers. For eternal sleepy time is inevitable. Really? That's your advice? Have fun with it? Who, who doesn't like fun? Getting covered in cum is not my idea of fun. Even if it is hallucination. Well, some choices are not ours. Because while a taco-filled Zeppelin won't go far... We can all hope it doesn't burst into dinner bits. But who's to say what's edible in a fiery crash of meteors? We, we just jab our fork into whatever looks suspiciously yummy. Just leave me to my perverted visions, you freak. Hey, out of the six of us, I'm the only one who wasn't in a crazy house. Yeah. I saw Frankenstein's kitten eat a horse with his mittens. It was glue-flavored. And he savored it. Yum, yum. I... Guess considering the various types of crazy out there, sexual hallucinations aren't that bad. If you put a hockey mask on a potato, it's immune to french fries! Yeah, not bad at all. Spare me your soda bubbles, for I can burp on my own! Ah, uh, sorry. <clears throat> oh. I saw Frankenstein's kitten eat a horse with his mittens. It was glue-flavored. And he savored it. Yum, yum!